Hi, hope you guys are doing well. So today we'll learn how to make this shape fireworks of different uh, cartoon characters. So the first thing we'll need to do is uh, download Inkscape. You can download it on Windows, Mac, whatever you want. Uh, the link is in the description. The new version is 1.0. You can also use the software for graphic designing and other purposes, but we'll be using it for .svg files. So first of all, download the software. The link is in the description, and then download any character that has uh, a head or shape or something like that uh, with a transparent background or uh, a white background. Okay, so uh, you know, any just just type in Google to get any character you want. So the next thing we're going to do is open Inkscape, okay, and then import the image. So file import, and then um, choose the image you want to import. So click on control and then you can click scale the image, then click on path, trace bitmap and um, a little thing you need to know about this is that the higher the setting the more uh, lighter color it will be able to detect. So basically if I click on ok right now it will detect even the brown parts of EV, uh, EV's color. Let me just show you. Okay, We don't want this, we just want it to look like uh, this one over here. So just uh, delete this one or this EV. So change this brightness threshold to 0 0.1 and then it will only uh, detect its outline, the black parts of uh, the image. Okay, so now you have uh, this uh, vector. So you can actually do, do multiples of them and uh, if the vector has uh, light outlines like Pikachu or Piplup, uh, colors so you have to, you can also increase the brightness threshold for them okay so after this you can save uh, the files i already have it saved so save it as an svg file save as dot svg this is the default same format and you have to save it in this one uh, in this format and uh, name whatever you want and then save it i already have it save it saved so we'll just close this and now we're going to go into blender so first of all delete the default cube and then go file import dot svg and i have it saved on my desktop so the best part about it is that uh, when you import them they are uh, all already separate parts so um, you know you don't have to separate them separately so um, i'm just going to use one of them so i'll just click uh, the other two and then click on this picture over here and tap to go to edit mode a to select all and then i'm just going to move it over here to its origin point then tap to go out of edit mode and then scale it to make it bigger then click on object while having this selected click on object convert to mesh from curve text then click on R x90 to rotate it and then G Z to move it upwards change the world to a dark blue color you know, give it a sky feel turn on bloom and uh, also remove the material from this uh, Pikachu head and give it the default material and then change it into a transparent PSCF and the blend mode to alpha clip the shadow mode to none so now uh, for now we are done with this one and uh, delete the light we don't need it then now we need shift a icosphere I'm going to remove its subdivision because uh, then the render will be way too slow for uh, me to show you in the preview so give it an emission material and change the color to yellow because Pikachu is yellow. You can give it different colors, obviously, like Eevee could be white, the flap can be blue, and etc. And now we don't need it, so we'll just hide it. Now we'll need in a curve Bezier RX90 to move it over here and then scale it. Shift A to also uh, use a UV sphere and give the UV sphere the same transparent material. Then Select the UV sphere, then shift select the uh, curve and then R Z 90 to move it like this. Okay, and click on the uh, UV sphere, click one to the constraints, constraints tab, and follow path settings. Select this path, okay, and then click animate path. Click on the path, the zero curve, and then tap to go to edit mode, and then just uh, so just move it about over here to the place where the fireworks are supposed to explode select this part and move it a little bit of more back you can also uh, subdivide it if you actually uh, 
select all these parts and then subdivide it to you know make it more uh, twisty and stuff if you want to you know uh, just for another bit so now the next thing we need to do is decide on uh, what point we on what frame we want our uh, fireworks to explode so select on the uh, figure head give it a particle system this is why we convert it into a mesh because it was required and this number this number will be different the number of particles will be different for every different type of uh, uh, character you choose okay so if it could be different for people up it could be different for any character it will be different so this is something that will change significantly for different characters the lifetime can be a little lower i guess and uh, randomize it by 0 0.3 i guess uh, it depends on you and um, i want it to explode on frame 50 so the start frame and end frame should be same okay and the source should be in in this case vertices change it to vertices okay the rendered change the hell from hell to object and the instance object is going to be the icosphere the scale randomness should be uh, i guess it could be random depending on what you want i just want it to be about this much make this particle seem yeah the scale is i think good enough so because they actually fall directly down we don't want that so the gravity should be like 0 0.1 now let's see okay now they're moving a little bit slow downward that's that's what we want so now select this uv sphere give it a particle system the start frame and the end, end frame will be different because we want them to end on uh, because this explodes on frame uh, 50 so its end frame should be also 50 but 1000 particles are way too much for this so let's just give it 300 and in this case emit from uh, volume change the emitter to volume okay and again select from object scale randomness should be there and instance object should be again icosphere but and the gravity for this should be a little bit higher than the uh, other one so 0 0.3 is going to work well and if you actually want uh, to uh, change the end frame like uh, for example this is by default going to move uh, take 100 frames to reach the cube okay now you see this already explored uh, the particles already explored into a firework and it's uh, it's already here but we want them uh, we want this cube uh, sphere to reach uh, over here on frame 50 so to do that we're going to click on this bezier curve and click on this animate path setting and change the frames to 50 okay so now at frame 50 it will be there okay and if you actually want the um if you actually want to it to start later on like you don't want it to start from moving from frame 0 or 1 because if you have multiple fireworks then you can change the offset okay so if i change the offset to like 20 now it will start on frame 20 but let's just keep it on zero for now and um, let me show you a preview on how it looks like okay but now the um, Pikachu face is a little too you know stable it, um, real fireworks don't work like that so to change this change the life from randomness to 0 0.5 and add in a little bit of turbulence force field turbulence and change the strength to about 3, 4, 5 depending on what you like ok you see now it's fading, fading away a uh, little bit of more realistically so I hope you guys learned something today please leave a like subscribe to our channel comment so see you next time goodbye